Today we're making these delicious cheesecake dessert cups packed full of fresh strawberries, a super easy and delicious buttery graham cracker crust, and a no-bake cheesecake filling and angel food cake. If you're interested in the dessert cups, there is a link to them down below in the video's description box. We're gonna start off by making the strawberry filling first, as it will need time to cool. We need two cups of fresh strawberries diced. That's about one standard package of strawberries. To a pot on the stove, we need one cup of sugar, three quarters cup of water, and three tablespoons of cornstarch. Grab a whisk and mix everything together until it looks nice and combined. Then add in the two cups of diced strawberries. We're gonna cook this on medium-high heat until it starts to boil. Then we're going to boil it for 3 minutes, and during this process, the strawberries are going to start to break down significantly. After the 3 minutes are up, we're going to transfer them to a bowl to cool down and thicken up. At this time, if you want to add in firmer strawberry chunkies in your filling, which I did, I added in almost a full cup of diced strawberries. You don't have to do this, it is fine as it is. However, this time around I wanted to add more than just a softened texture. I also added in one package of raspberries I pureed on the side. Again, it's not necessary, I just wanted to jazz up the flavors with something extra. While this is cooling down, let's make the graham cracker crust. We need one cup of finely crushed graham crackers, which is about seven full sheets. And since I plan on making more than just one batch, I'm gonna toss in a bit more. This recipe makes about 10 to 12 shooters, depending on how you fill your cups. We're gonna pulse this until everything is nice and finely crushed. Okay, this looks perfect. We need one cup and three tablespoons of melted butter. And lastly, we need one and a half tablespoons of sugar. Give that a good mix until everything looks good and coated. Okay, it's time to fill. Grab a dessert cup. I know it's kind of hard to see because it's clear, but hopefully you can see it. We're going to take one heaping tablespoon of the prepared graham cracker crumbs and dump it straight down into the cup. To pack it down, grab another cup and using the bottom of that cup, press it down onto the crust. This should pack it down nice and firmly. Next, let's move on to the cheesecake filling. We're gonna need two tablespoons of lemon juice. At this time of filming, I made several batches of this recipe, hence all the lemons. <laughs> if you're just gonna make one batch, you'll only really need one lemon. To a bowl, add in one 8 ounce block of softened cream cheese, two tablespoons of that fresh lemon juice we just squeezed, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, and three quarters cup of powdered sugar. Give that a good mix in until everything is nice and creamy. I do highly suggest scraping the bowl with a spatula. Since these are mini desserts, it's very important everything is properly mixed in. We don't want anybody getting any lumpies of unmixed cream cheese in their dessert cup. Set that off to the side and grab another bowl. To the bowl, add in one cup of heavy cream. We're gonna beat this up until it's nice and fluffy. This might take a moment. Grab your cream cheese mixture and add it to the bowl. We're gonna fold it in until it looks completely mixed together. Which might be kinda hard to tell on camera, the colors being so similar to each other. Once it looks like it's all mixed together, we're gonna stuff this into a piping bag, which is also linked down below in the description box. Set that off to the side, we need to prepare our cakes. I purchased this block of angel food cake from Walmart in their bakery area. To cut it down to size, grab a cup and sort of eyeball where you want to cut it. You want to keep it pretty close to the same size as the width of the cup. Even though the cup gets more narrow the further down it goes, this is fluffy cake so it'll pack down nicely. Grab a slice, cut it in half, and then cut each half into three equal pieces. Now we're ready to start filling our cups. Grab the cheesecake filling and with even pressure, pipe along the inside of the cup. Another way to go about it is as you're squeezing the bag, take it to each corner like so. Then take a piece of cake and press it down to the cheesecake layer. By now, the strawberry filling should be nice and cool. How much filling you add is entirely up to you. I will say this, you will probably have extra strawberry filling left over. This can be stored in the fridge for other uses, such as on top of ice cream, on top of pancakes or waffles, or even as filling in cake jars, which I also made a video of, and you should probably check that out too. Now all that's left is to pipe on the final layer of the cheesecake filling. To decorate the top, grab whatever extra berries you have on hand. I picked up a package of blueberries, raspberries, and even more strawberries. Here's an ingredients list. I hope I've inspired you to make your own. And if you think these are fabulous, just wait, I have a chocolate mousse shooter video coming shortly. If you check out my community tab, you can see a sneak peek of what they look like. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out and I'll see you all in the next video.